All right, let's uh, let's have a chat here. So, free agency, right? It's uh, ten sixteen at night since I'm recording this second take. Actually, uh, as I messed up a couple times in the first one with me actually speaking and messing up pronunciation and things like that, I figured well, I'll just redo it. So, um, free agency weekend, right? Again, still the weekend, right? As it's ten sixteen at night um, on Sunday, free agency happens on Friday. Big thing. Big things happening Friday. A bunch of deals, a bunch of players signing this where a bunch of goaltenders move. Braden Holpe, he ends up going to Vancouver. Lundquist to the Capitals. Cam Talbot ends up going to Minnesota. Um, Jacob Markstrom, he ends up signing with Calgary. I mean, there's just a bunch. Um, you know, and tonight you got Taylor Hall signing with the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, you have Bertrand looking at St. Louis. Or, excuse me, uh, Vegas. Uh, c- coming from St. Louis, you have Krug signing with St. Louis. As, again, I'm getting this mixed up now um, as there are so many things going on. But um, let's take a look at what the Flyers did. They didn't really do much. They only signed uh, left-handed defenseman uh, Derek Pouillot for the uh, NHL slash AHL. It's a two-way deal, one year, 700000 He's 26 years old. Pretty good signing for League High Valley. As, again, the Phantoms need to get better as they had a really rough, pretty much atrocious year. Um, but you know, again, it makes a lot of sense because again, the Phantoms, they have to get better. Um, and again, he could be used for NHL use if somebody's hurt and things like that. So again, pretty smart deal there from Fletcher. But besides that, nothing really else. And I, a lot of people saw this as a surprise, which is weird because Fletcher already said he wasn't really going to be doing anything around free agency and that they wouldn't really be big players. So why did they... Why didn't anybody expect them to go out and get a guy like Petrangelo or anything like that? Now, when Niskanen retired, it was looked at, could they be somebody for Petrangelo? You know, you lose a top a top guy like that, but again, it's kind of tough because, again, it was already looked at it from then that he wanted a long-term deal, a, a lot of money, um, and I, and the Flyers were not ready to hand, give that out cap-wise. We still got Myers assigned, still got Patrick, um, and, 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 and guys like that. So, again... It's not really surprising, right? So my thing is, is I saw people, you know, and and honestly, I had a couple guys that I had the Flyers in mind that they could sign. My surprise guy, which I didn't expect at all, but it was just a guy that I had said, okay, if they go out and get make a crazy move, this is the guy I expect them to get. I said Anthony Duclair. He still doesn't sign with anybody. Um, he didn't get a contract from, from Ottawa because he went in himself, which kind of explains why, because again, that's kind of tough. Um, to go in yourself, and my thing is, is that he definitely probably wanted more money, um, and they didn't want to give it to him. Uh, my thing is that he had a very good start to the season, made the All Star game, and then after fell off, completely fell off. I think he had like, I, I think he didn't score. Don't please do not a hundred percent count me in on this, but I think he didn't score for like twenty something games straight. I'm not necessarily sure about that, but that might that might be a little bit of an over exaggeration. I can't really remember right now, as this, as this was you know back in you know February March, but whatever, um, you know. But again, um, it, 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 that was a guy that I had looked at. Maybe they signed. Maybe Miko Koivu, a guy I talked about with Yuri Wallet from Five Minute Gritty. I've talked about him before over the phone, podcast, whatever. Um, I thought that was a really good fit for the Flyers. Koivu could play a fourth line center, veteran relationship, Fletcher, Minnesota. Definitely could have happened, signs with Columbus. Um, you know, there was a bunch of guys that I maybe could have thought they could have signed. Tonight, Jimmy VC was another guy they talked about. He signed with Toronto, a one year deal. Um, and then and there's a bunch. Zach Bogosian signed with Toronto as well. I brought him up. Maybe they sign him. Guy like Shattenkirk signs with Anaheim. So it's like, okay, they're losing out a lot of these guys, but I'm not really worried. I'm not. Like, I look at this team, like, this is a very good team. Very good team. And they're very good on the offensive side. They might not have to do as much on offense. It's just the glaring hole they have on D, which doesn't necessarily need to be addressed right now, which is why I'm doing a weekend in review, because, again, they didn't do much. But, again, it's not like the season is starting in a handful of days like it would be around this time. Actually, it would have started by now. So... You know, a year ago on the 9th, today's the 11th, a year ago on Friday was the Flyers' home opener. So, you know, it's just like, you know, it's not like the season is starting right away. It is starting in what looks like January right now. They're talking about January 1st start date, as that was confirmed as at uh, Friday round one of the draft. Or Friday, I should say Tuesday. I'm so used to saying Friday. But, again, 
Um, it, it's just, you know, I'm not necessarily worried about the Flyers really doing anything right now. They could have maybe looked at Tyson Berry. They were looked at as a team where, you know, maybe that was a guy signed with Edmonton. There was, a, as I said, with the goalies on the move, Crawford ends up going to New Jersey, a bunch of different things happen. Um, and again, this is still a very good Flyers team. You still have $8.6 million in cap space. Um, you know, with Fletcher's quotes from the other day, he had confirmed Patrick played in that scrimmage, which we knew about a week before. Um, he also said that he thinks Goss can be a top four D-man if healthy, which I honestly agree with. I, I, I do. I think Ghost can be a 100% a really good piece to be used uh, if healthy. But the problem I have with that is that they will not use him right. And I just have the feeling that they just won't. Regardless of what they say, they still won't. Like, like, think about it. If a guy like Provera were to make a mistake, right, turnover leads to a goal, okay, Provorov would definitely be out there the next shift, right? 100%, you know that. If it's Shane Gossesbury, he'd be on the bench the next shift, probably wouldn't see much ice depending on what the turnover was, things like that, and he wouldn't play the next game. Like, that. seriously, that's what it would be. And if that, it, like, it, to me, it's like Ghost has to play. He needs to play a certain amount of games. He needs to be used on the power play. I, I say, I honestly think if your power play was that bad, put Ghost on the first unit. Put him on the first unit. See what it happens. See what happens. Just see what happens. Because again, we all know the power play struggles. And again, this is, you know, this is so far down the line. This, this is why hockey is so hard to predict. Because I look at it as like, oh my God, you know, I thought it was honestly spot on with some of these things. No. No, I am way off in left field. Like, I, I am in the wrong stadium, wrong section, row, seat, the whole nine yards off, completely off. And uh, I'm just, I'm baffled because it's like, I thought they would have maybe signed someone, but I didn't expect a big name. I, that, that's just why I said maybe a guy like Koivu. Somebody like that, a solid guy that you know. I mean, they lose three guys. Obviously, we knew Pitlick signs uh, a $3.5 million contract with the Coyotes. Pitlick. He's gone. Grant, he signs, goes back with Anaheim for the next three years at, at 1.5. Gone. Nate Thompson signs a one-year deal with Winnipeg, right? Three UFAs off the books. Now they got 44 of uh, 50 contracts. They got six contracts left, right? You still got Myers and Patrick. Still have to sign those guys. Um, and then that that should lead you with four other contracts. So they can still bring in a couple people. Um, maybe they do it via trade. As I said, it doesn't have to happen right now. So again, could Fletcher have given Pitlick, Grant, and Thompson those exact same contracts? Sure, he could have. Would he have? No. Because again, you need a top right-handed defenseman. That is what you need. Or a left-handed guy that can play. Now the Flyers were pretty much looking at TJ Brody, and what lost the Flyers in that deal was that it looked like that if Brody wasn't getting an extension with Calgary, he was coming to Philadelphia. I was stoked when I heard that, and that was Jimmy Hayes who actually reported that first, uh, which is, yes, Kevin Hayes' brother. I had saw that. I was like, oh, my God, they're going to get T.J. Brody, a guy who, you know, he's a left-handed defenseman but likes to play the right side, a guy like Niskanen, and it's just like, you know, yeah, I was like, dude, this is great. This is a guy that plays like 20 plus minutes a night. He's just a very good defenseman and very good on, you know, can play power play and things like that, penalty kill. And then he goes to Toronto. Do you know what got him in Toronto? The no movement clause. Since he signed the no movement clause, the Flyers would have had to leave unprotected either Provorov, Sanheim, or Myers. You're not doing that if you're Chuck Fletcher. You're just not. So that's what got him in Toronto. The Leafs got a lot of actually very good signings. But Gojin. Uh, they get Bogosian, they get Brody, they get Wayne Simmons. Tonight they get Jimmy VC. They traded Andreas Janssen to New Jersey for Joey Anderson. Um, and I, I think I'm I'm probably missing one. But again, like, you know, it's just like, damn. Because again, they, they, they could have had something there. But it is what it is. You know, it's not like it is a huge thing right now to panic. Oh my God, you know. Oh, they didn't get Brody. They're done, you know. No, it's all right. There's still a lot of time left here. As I said, the season does not start in a week or in a couple days. If it was up to, you know, us right now, and if we were in a completely normal world, nothing going on, no pandemic, you know, none of that stuff, we'd be a couple games into the season right now. Flyers, you know, two days ago, uh, a year ago on the 9th, played their home opener. So, again, you know, you don't have to, you know, just be all up in arms that they didn't make a move. They said before that they weren't going to be major players. That's 100% okay. 
You don't have to do it right now. It could be via trade. It could be whatnot. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. I just want to give my thoughts here on free agency. Uh, just let you go, let you know what I think about what the, what I think the Flyers could have done, what they didn't do. Um, one thing I will say coming up for this week uh, is from Wednesday to pretty much Sunday, I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be up the mountains. So um, I will not have any content um, that I will be making right there. If I do, if I have to make something, if they make this big trade or whatever, or something happens, then I will be doing it in a completely different location. But, um, you know, I will have, I know I will have my computer with me. I probably won't have my mic. So just bear with me on that. If something does happen, but that's only if something happens, if not, um, I will, I will have to think of a couple things, but again, just, you know, I know you guys, I know most of you guys, you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, where I'll, Definitely keep you guys updated there um, on what I will be doing video-wise and things like that. So, again, guys, remember, podcasts, articles, those links from my channel. Let me know what you guys think below in the comments, and I will talk to you all again soon. And let's go Flyers.